I hope you're doing well. Um, we received some happy mail. So I was very excited to just open it up and check it out. Um, we got some other packages as well, but I'll do that in a separate video. Um, first things first, before you leave this video, please leave me a thumbs up so that me and um, YouTube's algorithm know that you like this content and I can keep on making it. And then also, um, yeah, um, if you're not subscribed yet, please feel free to join our little community. Um, also, just a disclaimer, um, everything you see here, I paid with my own money. So this, I'm not affiliated to anything. So I'm saying this because I normally put that in the description of my video. I also do that, but this is a new to me company. And let me tell you how it started. So this is a diamond painting. And yes, I know the packaging looks like this. Um, so short story. Um, it was February of this year. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was in February. Um, diamond Art Lab announced that they're not shipping to South Africa directly anymore. Okay. So it's a... It was a, a, a carrier itch issue. They were using DHL Express, and it it just there were too many customs issues and all of that. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about that topic. Um, it's for maybe another video, but the communities obviously spoke about this. There were discussions, and in one of the groups, um, one of the ladies. Um, reached out to me in a private message and she, she said hey check out our Facebook um, group where we um, just started also a diamond painting company yes we are based overseas but we know about South Africa and the shipping and all of that so maybe you're looking at other options don't you want to give us a try so it's not a I didn't get get this for free to review I paid it with my own money because at that point I was like, goodness, okay. Diamond Art Lab is my favorite, favorite diamond painting company and Dreamer Designs. And I don't have anything else. So that was all at that time. You could go and check out my diamond painting playlist. So I did in the meantime, or since then, um, get some other um, diamond paintings from other companies, new to be brands, love them. So I thought, okay, let's give this a try. I'm open-minded. Um, so, their website they're still busy with. Um, oh, if you see my puppies, they're walking around here. And if you hear them, they're playing around here. So um, this is my drafting table, which I just put vertically because so that we can take a look at everything now. Okay, um, I said to the lady, okay, fine. Let me take a look at your website. So there weren't a lot of diamond paintings listed there yet. They're still busy with that. So if you go into the Facebook group and I'll link all of that in the description of this video, um they release um like paintings and art and you can say if you like it and you want it in a diamond painting or something like that so i think primarily at this moment that is the um main contact is through the facebook page um but then if you order and you make a payment then you go to their website and choose if the diamond painting isn't listed there you choose it via the custom diamond painting okay so the custom brings you out to a few options of round square um, diamonds and also what sizes so i do suggest that you talk to leah first before you choose the size so i must say customer service wise top notch leah was very nice friendly um worked with me all the way like she messaged me she was on top of things the tracking number all of that every question i had um so i didn't have they at that point there wasn't a lot of options yet to choose from so the only thing for me was to see how their quality is by choosing giving them a picture of of something i like and um making it a custom but now since then and i've actually um christy a colleague and partner of the diamond painting company um she also puts out some of her art and they're signing up artists now licensed art and all of that so there's more options now but when i started with her there weren't a lot of options so i gave her a picture that i like of one of my favorite things and um i just that's why i'm not going to show you the picture because um it is something that 
I don't feel comfortable to show on a public platform because it isn't licensed. So I'm going to show you the other stuff that comes with it if you want to try them out or go and get a licensed kit or a licensed custom. But this was very limited and I was in a space in my mind where I needed to find some more options. So um, please don't leave nasty comments. I know all about unlicensed artwork. I'm against it, but I'm not going to sell it. I have one copy. I'm not going to you know showcase it somewhere it's for my personal use it's gonna either be stored away when i'm done working on it um in a portfolio or something or i'm gonna hang it on the wall in my craft room where only i go in so um it's for my personal use so i just want to get that out of the way because i know how, the strong feeling about that and i also feel like that but at that point i didn't have a lot of options and i really wanted to see how the quality of the drills are what the canvas is like, what toolkit you get, do you get a sticker sheet, you know, all of those things. So that I'll show you, but I'm not going to show you the picture. Okay. So, um, again, um, I paid with my own money. I asked her, um, listen, I really don't want to go through our postal services. Um, can we just use a carrier like FedEx or whatever? Um, but as we all know, diamond paintings are made in China. Um, I thought that it was reasonably priced because there was no extra costs um, on their side. So I chose a diamond painting size and then the person that charts it will then, when they do it, give a precise like measurement. So they, she sends it into that person and they say, okay, I estimate this based on the picture you sent me and then they'll do it. But when it gets to you, it's maybe a different measurement. So that's the one thing to remember. Um, okay, so it came all the way from China. I must say with our postal services in South Africa being super slow, it got here quite fast. Okay, well, it, it took a couple of weeks, but I'm very impressed because it took much faster than some of my other international packages I was waiting for. And you can go and look in my diamond painting playlist about unboxings and where I tell you I waited like three or four months or something. So this wasn't the case. So it's really not too bad. And especially also through our postal services. But you know what I think? So it came unfortunately, and this is something that I'm going to fully like be honest about it. I really thought it was going to be in a box or a tube. So the, the lady at the post office was very friendly and nice and trying to find this for me based on the tracking number that Leah gave me, but um, she couldn't find it. So I said to her, it must be something long, like a box or a tube. So she kept looking in the parcels department, but in the end she did find it and it <laughs> took her quite a long time. Um, and it fell under letters because it's in an envelope, a padded envelope, even though the length of it. So, um, and the tracking number is different. It's not the same one that Leah gave me, but the one that Leah gave me did work on the tracking apps, on both the South African postal tracking app and on the global one I'm using. So it did show me when it was here. And, and I also showed it to the lady at the post office and she said, Yona is definitely yeah. She's just, not finding it in, in all of the chaos that is the South African post office, but not getting into the politics about that. So this is how it looks like. So it's a padded envelope long. It's taped all over. There's some brown cello tape, you know, that moving tape, but you can see the post office. This is the South African post office logo. So this is the South African post office that is this. Um, this I think probably came like this from China, not sure. So in any case, it comes from China. And um, I'm a bit worried because they, it felt a bit stiff, like there's something in here keeping structure, but not the whole thing, okay? And um, it feels not that thick. Um, the other side has my personal details on it. So yeah, like I said, um, yeah. Uh, the lady really struggled getting that. So I opened it up to just make sure, because I don't, want to show you pictures and to make sure there's no additional supply invoice in there with my details and all of that. So I looked and I pulled everything out. So let's get to that. 
Um, first things first, I want to show you the toolkit that came. So I think, okay, this is the basic toolkit, but oh, guys, I finally got a purple tweezer. <laughs> so it's the pointy tweezer. Um, yeah, I know there's some diamond art club paintings that has like a purple tweezer and I haven't gotten one yet. So I have the black tweezers, but I'm like, oh, I actually like this. So purple tweezer, um, your normal like diamond painting pen with a brass, um, single placer and then, uh, it's not a skinny. So I like the skinny multiplacers, but I have a lot of them. Um, and I also have my own diamond painting pens, so this doesn't really matter, but I'm just showing you for interest's sake. So that's a three placer. Okay, so that's what you get. Then you get a squishy, so purple. Um, and you get a few baggies for your leftover drawers and all of that. And ooh, this is. Guys, this looks like a nine placer, I must say. That looks like a nine placer, also not the skinny. So we get a three placer and a nine placer, and then a normal small tray, which is always handy. Uh, I like the long spout. Yeah, it's a handy one. And then we get a wax caddy. Let's see how many is in here. So I like that it's a screw top. Oh, there's three. One, two, three. So, and they're all with the protective film. So just remember to peel off the film before you start using it. And yeah, that's, I can use this. Um, I always have need for wax. Okay, so that's what was in the toolkit. So that, let's put this one side. Then I got this in there, like this. I was like, what is this? And when I unrolled it, it looks like a sleeve. Do you see? Like where you can put your canvas in or you can put your diamonds in, but it looks like a canvas sleeve. It's actually quite long. Um, there's no glue. No, wait. Uh, there's a glue strip. Okay, there's a glue strip. So you take off the strip like an envelope and you um, can just seal that. Yeah. So this is definitely a canvas um, sleeve. So, okay, that's the first time i got something like this then um okay let me show you this mm. not too happy about this so the company is touch the soul arts um there's an inventory sheet that says yes the measurement it says 55 by 85 so i know it's definitely not what i think we said 90 by 100 or something to choose that one I, um, I could be mistaken, but it came out as 55 by 85. I chose a square. Um, and then this is all right. This is the normal paper that you get with a lot of companies. So it shows you the um, amount of bags. So it says there's 55 bags. It has um, the DMC code, which is the color. It has the, the symbol. Sorry if I'm bumping the camera. That's the symbol that's on the canvas. Let's just take a look at the symbols. There's a few ones I haven't seen before. Mm, okay. And then it tells you the amount of diamonds. So for instance, let's look at our 310. That's obviously going to be the most. As you know, guys, um, I like my dark art. So this is a dark art um, image and it has 22,038. And it has eight bags of 310. Fantastic. <laughs> now I'm not sarcastic. I love that. <laughs> so this is the paper one, and I think I'll probably use this and cut it out and put on the containers on washi tape and some translucent tape. Okay. Um, it did come with a sticker sheet, but guys, look at this. Okay. It feels like it got wet. It it has that very soggy feeling. It's not wet to the touch, but it has that soggy feeling. And some of them came loose, so I'm not going to use this. But I just want to say it does come with a A4 um, sticker sheet, but I'll probably use this. 
so okay that is the inventory sheet then we see the diamonds okay let's just take this off i don't know why this is not sealed no it is it is sealed this glue okay so there's no label if you store your canvas and your draw separately you'll have to make your own label and just write the canvas it's uh, i would probably write touch this all art custom you know and the number of the on the can on the inventory sheet so um but i see the baggies they are individually pre-packed and they have the numbers so you remember from the sticker sheet um they are um 45 oh, let me just show you again so there's actually mm, there's 45 um colors and there's number 45 so i don't normally use these numbers they're just the se sequential numbers to show you quickly how many colors there are but this is the only way to identify the bags um with the dmc code so yeah um that's why these bags have the, just numbers on. Um, I must say it's packed very well. The diamonds look quite nice. Like, they faceted. Okay, there's a straggler. I don't see obvious trash. There's a trash bit. There's a dye color on there, but that's just one. Guys, I don't want to take out this these these um bags because I need to get them up in a different way. But I'm just showing you the colors. So let's just look. There's also a straggler. <laughs> that one with the die points i don't see any obvious trash i must say the diamonds looks pretty good to me it looks pretty good and it's faceted so there's like this is a deep burgundy color there's like a light olive green uh, dusty blue like a very light peach color sorry um these are all of the bags of 310 um the black these are really pretty pink i like that now we're with the grays and there's like a dusty pink and the neutral color this is also a gray this is purple also these are like a brownish colors green there's like a cream color pink oh that's like a brown light pink midnight blue brown lighter burgundy minty green that's like an army green this is a dark green mm, i'm not sure what this color is mm, it's between it's between it's a very dark charcoal and blue um then another neutral brown and a mauve color another green a dark brown um, also a burgundy mauve mm, a light green this looks white but it's not mm, some grays and some mauve colors okay so this is the color palette <laughs> you guys are probably very very curious what it is okay so that's the colors okay so the last thing is the canvas i'm just keeping the picture there's the pasting area so it's the thumbnail of the picture okay custom spelled with an e <laughs> um wow okay I am actually very surprised, pleasantly surprised about the scalloped edges 
and the poke holes. Okay, that's gonna avoid fraying. So I will also put this in the description. So you basically talk with them through their Facebook page, Touch the Soul Arts. Otherwise, you email them, um, and there's the website. Then there's all the colors, 45. So they have a legend. Okay. Let me just quickly open this. I need to see this. Oh, there's a pool noodle, very small. So this is the thing that gave structure. You remember when I said, so let me just open this off camera because again, I don't want to show you guys. I just want to show a little bit. Um, oh, it comes with those very like fine um, hair and these things. Um, that you put in your ear and so on, so it's, you can't really see it. So, okay, I just want to see on the back. It's not super soft, okay. It's not super soft, um, but it's it has like a cottony vibe going on there. Um, so I want to see, um, okay, let me just do this. I don't really want to give away anything. Okay. There is a, oh, wow. Oh, oh, guys, the, I'm looking at the image. It looks way better proportioned. It looks perfect perfectly proportioned on the canvas so on the thumbnail on the sheets it, it looked cropped and I was scared honestly I got a mini heart attack but the canvas and the thumbnail on the canvas the thumbnail on the canvas is perfect it's the original high resolution pic I sent them so there's a legend of the colors on of the schematics on the left top and on the bottom right and then at the top let me just do this sorry so there's like touch the soul arts okay you can see a bit there so let's just take a look at the symbols so and this thing that's keeping it like this it's it's this like a pool noodle a mini pool noodle so let's just check this out oh the symbols is very very clear i was worried about those ones with the diamond and the dot in the middle okay there's obviously no there's obviously no aries in this I don't mind that. I can see that. That's not difficult to see. I don't mind no AVs because this is a very dark image. So I actually, I have enhancement drills if I want to use that. But I must say, guys, this is very, very clear. Let's take this bit and just do the sticky test. So the film, okay, the film is very, very thin. Hmm. But I use the washi tape method. Let's just find out. Whoa. Okay, this is super sticky. Super sticky. Okay. Okay. I'm scared to show you too much, but you can see the colors on this thing. I can see where the burgundies and the black, and all of that is going to come in. Guys, I wish I could show you this image, but it's beautiful. <laughs> No, it isn't. It's never been made into a diamond painting. It's never been made into a diamond painting. So it's just, I wanted to try this out, okay? So let me just take this away. So I didn't even roll this backwards, but it's quite flat. I'm not worried about this because if I look on the front, you don't see any creases. 
but this obviously came with the packaging so you remember that the packaging looked like this so i'm guessing it's like this okay so i'm blaming that it wasn't put in a box and um our postal services okay you can see there was a bit of rough handling here so all in all um let's go through what i don't like i don't like that it didn't come in a box or a tube i don't like that the sticker sheet got wet and has a soggy feel and i'm gonna have to throw it away and i'm not 100% happy with this, the creases, but I'm going to hang it up on my railing and it is lying flat. So um, we can also take the film and just loosen the film and put it down again to flatten it even more. So this is only something I will be able to see after I start putting drills on it and working on it, but I don't think you're going to see through it. Now, what I like is the diamonds look in very good quality. The symbols of the canvas, very good quality. The stickiness, very good. Love that it's scalloped edges. Love that it's poked. Love that it's poured glue. I think the film is all right. I've worked with thinner film than this. Um, the rendering of the image, the thumbnail looks exactly what I sent them. The rendering looks proportionally correct. It didn't print out correctly on the inventory sheet, so I don't like that. Um, I don't like that the drills, um, they numbered only with the help of the inventory sheet. So if the one, if both of the sheets, if they were in such a way that I couldn't use any one of them and I, they weren't legible because they got too wet and I, you know, if I couldn't see which number was bag number 45, I, I wouldn't know, you know? So I would at least want on the sticker on the diamond bag, the DMC coat, that's it, just the coat. So if it's black and we know black is 310, so then just call back 310 number five on this label. Like call it 310. I would rather want the DMC code on there. Um, and then the label on the drills, there's no label on the drills if you store your drills separately from the canvas, but that you can insert yourself or put a sticker on and just say it's this canvas. So that's not a make or break for me. Um, yeah, guys, honestly, um, I there's more pros and cons at the moment. The quality looks good. And I'm blaming the packaging on the logistics and all of that. So it looks, they did say like it gets hand charted and so on. So there's only 45 colors. So I like that. A customer service really good um you can talk to leah and so on so i will have to give you a post review and after i've done this painting or done a bit or whatever to tell you what it looks like but the quality so far looks good so what i'm saying is i always try to um, differentiate between the supplier and the manufacturer which is which is fault what is in control out of the control of the seller okay the supplier the seller um i like the drill quality it looks to me like um, resin drills um i like um how the rendering came out i like how fast they were um but the packaging and the labeling and the, st the sticker sheet um can be improved but saying that those things that i just mentioned is not going to influence the final product the, the painting that you're gonna have after you place the drills i think the canvas is fine this is this feels to me like the older dreamer designs canvases a cottony feel but it's not that super velvet lush soft feeling i don't mind about that um i think yeah and because it came in an envelope it was listed as a letter in the post office on our side 
The fee I paid the post office to release it to me was not a lot. My South African people, it was 36 rands, okay? Um, I got a parcel from Australia, which is a small package of cards, and <clears throat> it cost me 187 rands for the release fee at the post office. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind. This is a much bigger thing, much heavier. I didn't pay a lot. Um, so yeah, leave me comments. Let me know what you think about this. Um, Touch the Soul Arts, go and check them out. It's a new to me company. I can't say yet how the rendering is gonna look because you can only see that once you place the drills. So um, I will keep you updated on that when I get to this painting. I'm happy that I gave this a try. Um, and so far I think I would order from them again but I'm just not happy with the packaging like I said so yeah let's uh let's see how it looks after the drills is placed guys I will see you next time when we do the other unboxings of the parcels that I got one of them is a diamond painting accessories parcel so I can't wait to open that as well all right guys love you lots until next time Mwah.